as we access our project demo application, we're on our third, which is the fiber group of NGPON2 OLTS testing. There's no difference between the AFL single mode and this one except adding a mandrel tool to be able to zero out the back reflection of the connector. You'll have to have both tablets in the demo application and then you have to press the fiber group of NGPON2. You'll notice it on both screens if they're together that both of them have the rogue unit on it. One of those will have to be a remote mode. In order to do that, you'll have to press the remote mode by accessing the menu button, which is the three horizontal lines to the left of the AFL logo. About halfway down, it'll say remote mode. You're going to press remote mode. Once you do that, that puts that tablet as a remote. Now its peer will be a main unit. In order to do that, access the menu, which is the three horizontal lines to the left of the AFL logo. About halfway down, you'll see referencing. Once you hit referencing, this is single mode. Single mode is going to be port slash engine number two, which is all the way to the right on both units. And you're going to need to clean, inspect, and clean the jumpers, the single mode jumpers, and plug a jumper in each unit. It's concatenated together by a bulkhead adapter. Bulkhead adapter is also a mated sleeve, so you have a, a bridge going from engine two of one unit to the other. The main unit, you're going to access the split screen where it says engine two. You're going to hit the referencing. Uh, you're going to hit where it shows the animation of inverting one to the other to next, which is a blue button at the bottom right. Once you hit next, you'll hear a series of clicks. It's about 9 to 12 seconds. On the animation, it'll break the units tethered together, and that is your sign that it's referenced properly. Then you're going to hit done and done again, and it'll bring you back to the animation of the rogue unit. Now there's another portion of this, which is your ORL zeroing. In order to do that, you have to use a mandrel tool for both units. You go into both tablets, access the menu again at the top left of the AFL logo, the three lines. Go back down to uh, the left header to referencing. Under referencing, you're going to use the engine 2, which is your single mode port on both units. When you highlight that, it's going to go all the way to the bottom where it says ORL. That means optical return loss. And you're going to go for UPC. Make sure that the icon underneath that, or the drop-down, is single mode fiber, which it should be. Once you do that, then hit the Next button, and it'll show that you need to cap both ends of the fiber. So now the fiber is not connected to both rogues, or, uh, or it's not connected through a, a bulkhead that is split. So each rogue has its own individual jumper in engine slash port 2, which is the one on the right, top right. Hit Next again. You, it'll go through a series of clicks. Then hit Next another time, and it'll show bringing up the mandrel tool. You'll need to take the free end of the fiber and wrap it no less than 10 times around the mandrel tool, and then hit Next. Once that happens, um, it'll show you an animation of unrolling it. Make sure you put the dust cap back on, and what that has done is zeroed out the back reflection of the connector into the unit. Now you're ready to test.